So check it out, I thought I'd go black and white for the intro, but it's missing something. Just... Now that's pretty cool. What's up guys, Nathan here. Now if you haven't seen it, a new music video that I just worked on with Problematic just dropped today. And I did that with the legendary Ryan McCarville. And if you haven't seen his short film, Sins of the Father, check it out, link in the doobly-doo. Anyway, Ryan wanted the video to be in black and white. And it made me think of Schindler's List. And if you remember that one shot where there's a girl in the red dress? Well, that was shot back in 93, and they actually shot everything in black and white except for that one scene, and they had to rotoscope every single part out and cut around her for every frame that she was walking through. Well, with the benefit of modern technology, it's way easier than that today, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. But before we get into that, just gonna remind you guys to hit that like button and get subscribed for more videos like this. Anyway, let's get into the grade. So jumping into Resolve, we have our shot and I've done a bit of a basic grade on this and I literally just got a black and white by pressing monochrome. What we're gonna do to start things off is we're gonna add a layer node. Now, what that does, if you don't know layer nodes, is this is on bottom and this is on top of that and I can add a whole bunch more layers on top of that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna qualify out this red. So I'm gonna take my little eyedropper tool, go through, awesome. Now we wanna go through to our lower saturation areas and we wanna widen this out a little bit just so we're grabbing more color. Let's not get carried away, drop that lower saturation. We're gonna denoise it a little bit just to clean things up. And now, right now that looks not too bad, but to me it looks a little too dramatic for this particular video. So I'm just gonna go to my key tab and I'm just gonna decrease that output so it's at 50%. I think that looks great. And then for extra marks, here's a little bonus tip. We're gonna go into our curves, go into our hue versus luminance, and we're just gonna take that red and bring it down a little bit just to make it a little bit darker, which really fits the music video. So then you see the before and the after. Now on a clean shot like this, it's just that easy. But of course, with all these effects, things can get more complicated. So let's show a little bit tougher of an example. Now in this next shot, he has blood in his hand. And the problem is, so we just go to our next node. If you don't know this, skin color is very close to the color of blood. So they're right on top of each other. So the only thing you have to do is really just finesse it a lot more and just play with where you want that center to kind of sit. Lean more towards the red and you should be good. Bring that down, bring the noise up, clean up the black a little bit. Now, one thing that I want for this particular shot is I want it to be less of an output just so it doesn't quite stand out as much. Um, and, and we can also bring that red down a little bit in the luminance channel. And now it just sticks out just a little bit so that it doesn't look funky on the skin, but it also gives you a little touch of red. But it can get even more complicated. So on this shot, you can tell he's under a street light. And the street light is super orange, which impacts the color of the blood as well. And you'll see what happens here. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna create our layer node. And now we're gonna try and qualify out this blood. Okay. You're gonna quickly realize that where the blood sits is also where part of his shirt and skin sits. So we got ourselves a little bit of a problem. So let's just tighten this up a little bit. Okay, perfect. So we have it close and you could go with this, but look at that. You got all this orange up in his hands and his nose and it, it for me, it totally breaks the effect. So we can fix that up super fast. Check this out. We're gonna take a little window here and we're just gonna draw around it's on his chest right there. Actually gonna go back to the first frame just to make sure we got it. Okay, now we can only see that. We're then gonna go into our tracking tool and boom, track that. Now, just need to do a little bit of finessing on this. What do we got here? Get our lower saturation areas. Make sure we have the right part. Oh, very light with it and that should do it. Check this out. And it works beautifully and it's tracked to the shot, so you can't even tell. And it's just that easy. 
Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to hit that button and help me out with that sweet, sweet algorithm and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. Anyway, have yourself a good one. Okay, see ya.